All right, here, here it is. Here we go. Boom! Oh, wow. This is what the box looks like for the Yukia tailgater, Bluetooth sound system, and reactive fire. The top lid, Yukia, Yukaya, folding tank holder. Okay, these are like the top rocks or whatever they give you to. This is like a bag. This is the, the gas hose. This is an adapter. Wow. We got our front logo. Oh, that's a satisfying button press. I'm not going Waiting going. for connection. Volume rocker. Beat to music button. Very cool. Very cool how it lights up. Very elegant. Very high quality feeling knobs and buttons. On the other side, okay, so we got handles on each side. We got what looks like a speaker on each side. What does it look like on the bottom? This whole box here contains the amp in the subwoofer, and then it's wired out to two speakers on each side. Okay, then the, the stove part of it's more close to the top, and it's a little difficult to see, but this right here is actually the knob for where our battery goes, our AA battery for the igniter. So we're gonna go ahead and unscrew that. They do give you a battery, which is great. So it's saying to put the battery negative side in, positive side out. This is where the igniter creates the little spark. Can't see it, but it is working. The power hookup is on the side here, the gas hookup. And this is where you charge the battery for the stereo inside, which is rated to last 20 hours on a full charge. Uh, beat to the music or just regular fire or turn it off. Alrighty, so this is the instruction manual and it actually has a detailed schematic of all the components telling you where everything is. This is the magnetic cover that it comes with. Pretty snazzy cover. It goes on nice like that. Wow, the top is all glued. Okay, that's what we're looking at upon first open. Optional grill accessory to actually be able to cook on this thing. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, it's heavy. A cast iron like skillet. It's kind of like got this serrated grill on this side here. And then it is flat on the other side. Extender arms to hold the grill attachment. Boom, and then you just place your skillet on the top here. You have a full camping stove, ready to rock and roll. Nice steak on there. Throw some burgers, flip it over, oil this up. You got a smooth surface to cook an egg or something of that sort. Pretty thought out, pretty genius how it's not only ambience and decor, but it's also super functional with everything that it does. Okay, so now the moment we've all been waiting for to see the Yukia Fire Pit 2.1 system in action. We're here to demo it in this beautiful backyard. It comes with lava rocks. These lava rocks are small. They add a nice earthy tone to it, kind of complete the vibe, the look to make it feel like a natural fire pit. So they give you an included hose to run to your propane tank. And it is a very nice quick connect style hose that makes it really simple to connect the hose to the unit on one side, and then you just screw it into your tank and it has a regulator on the other side of the hose to make sure it's getting the right flow of propane into the system. And as you'll notice, they actually include a branded propane tank cover, which is a great touch if you don't wanna see that ugly propane tank. Throw the cover on it, makes it look a lot classier. They also include this nice propane tank mount mounted to your truck, your truck bed, your vehicle. If not, don't really need this otherwise if you're just gonna use it on beach, camping, picnic, something like that. Okay, now to light, we've installed the AA battery, that igniter. It's gonna create a spark. You just turn the knob and boom, it'll ignite for you. So this is what we're looking like maxed out. So here is the knob from low going all the way up to higher. And this is without any music reactivity or anything like that. Of course, you can just run the fire pit as is. And this is also how you would use it if you wanted to cook something with the cooking attachment. Now the moment you've all been waiting for, let's actually turn on the sound reactivity mode, which you can do by hitting this button at the front. I'm gonna do an active sound test first so you can hear what this thing sounds like. It is a loud and bassy system, which is great for the outdoors. It does put out quite a good punch. 
Right now, this is the stereo mics capturing outside. We're about four feet from the unit. Okay, so we're now gonna check out the additional cooking attachment that you can buy, which is a cast iron skillet and these like four little table stands here. So the idea is we're just gonna put these stands, make sure they're seated flat to the bottom of the unit on each corner here. Just try to move the lava rocks out of the way. And you can see our included cast iron skillet has both a grill side as well as a flat side, depending on what you're cooking, you can use either or. So it just sits on the attached four pieces like that, and you have it in regular stove mode, ignite the unit, and boom, we're cooking with gas. Okay, so we're now gonna demo the cooking aspect. I've recruited my good friend Marco. Marco, say hi. Hey everybody. And we're gonna cook a steak on this thing. We've actually been doing something special. Marco, what, do, what have we been doing so far with so this steak? We've actually been doing what's called a reverse sear with the steak, which is where you start off in the smoker, and then you finish it off on a nice cast iron for a good sear on the, uh, the end of it. And of course you don't need to cook a steak this way. We just so happen to be with access to a wonderful smoker. We're also cooking some other sausages here. 
That's called a grill fire. But um, we're gonna show you and use this thing to make a lovely, lovely steak. Of course, you can cook anything on this thing, but we're gonna throw it over to Marco now and he's gonna take it home. All right, so we are heating this bad boy up right now. And I think one thing to call out is the flame is really intense. So you're not gonna have, <laughs> I think, any trouble getting this as hot as it needs to be. This is a fully legit cast iron. So just keep in mind, you're probably gonna have to do a little bit of maintenance. Plenty of YouTube videos on that, just how to maintain a cast iron. And uh, let's put some butter on here and get going. See how this goes. As you can see, this bad boy gets real hot. Yeah, so the steak, it doesn't look too pretty yet because it's actually been on a smoker for a little while. It'll definitely look nicer once we get a proper sear on here, which is what we're doing. With a cast iron, the sky's the limit. You can cook bacon and eggs. You can cook uh, a steak from scratch. You know, the options are endless with your cast iron. So we're definitely getting some good sear. Oh yeah, that's a beaut. Just adding a little bit more butter here. Getting it nice and ready. Oh, and we could just hear that sizzle. It's just making sure we're rendering down the fat along the, the fat cap of the side so we can have this be nice and melty when it's time to eat. Oh, you giving a little poke there, bud? A little bit of the classic poke test just to make sure we're doing all right on the inside. Technically, some say you can poke a steak to find out when it's ready, but that's a little bit of nonsense. Based on the amount of fat that's on the inside, it's gonna have a different feel. Uh, so just get a meat thermometer. <laughs> we actually cooked it to the correct internal temperature inside the smoker, kind of like a sous vide method. And then we let it come down to room temperature inside. And this is just to give it that nice sear on the outside. So all we really have to do is make it warm on the inside. So at this point, I think we're good to go. And we got a nice reverse seared smoked steak. And definitely remember to let your cast iron come down to uh, room temperature before you touch it. Um, also, there's a, a little bit of technique in terms of how you might want to wash it. You can check other YouTube channels for that. Time now to really dive in and talk about the nitty gritty of this product. Starting off with wow factor and imagination. So overall, this is quite a mesmerizing product. It's a fantastic piece to have, fantastic piece to own. It's sure to impress and it, it's a lot of fun. If you are the outdoorsy type and you do get out a lot, I could see this being really helpful, really useful. So for that, it's gonna score an 18 out of 20 for wow factor and imagination. All right, it's time to talk a little bit about the functionality of the product. So overall, I did find the fire pit to be quite functional, quite thought out. It was easy to use. It had pretty good sound. It went pretty loud, although it is quite bassy. I think something that could be improved upon is if there was a knob or something to be able to control the amount of bass. One other small thing I think could be improved upon is when you go to turn the level, the fire level, the gas level, it always clicks and ignites the spark. So I think maybe if it had an ignite mode, so the battery wouldn't drain as fast when you're just trying to adjust the output of gas, of flame. Very minor things. Overall, this thing functioned quite well and did a good job. So it's gonna score a 17 out of 20 for functionality. 
All right, moving into build quality now. So the unit is full metal construction in a power coated stainless steel finish. It comes in the dark gray, black color I have it. They also make it in a green finish. I really did like the quality of the buttons and the knobs and how they light up. Felt very high quality, functioned well, and was practical to use in the dark. I really liked the strong magnetic cover that it had, making it great to transport around. You know that thing's not gonna pop off on you. And I thought the stereo system, the internals, were all pretty well constructed with the marine grade stereo that's inside the thing. Overall, I think this thing is built to last, to take a bit of a beating. It's gonna score an 18 out of 20 for build quality. Okay, moving into practicality now. You know, they really have thought out this product to make it as practical to use in different situations. Starting with the gas hose itself, it's quick release, so when you're trying to set it up or you're breaking it down, you can quickly snap that hose off. It has a really long battery life, which is great. And of course, it can be used in many, many settings. As well, that cast iron skillet, that added cooking attachment, I think that's a must own thing. It really takes it to a next level in terms of what this thing can do, you know, sets the bar and becomes super practical and super multi-use. The only thing if I were to say to note about this particular unit, watch out if it's windy. The effect of the dancing flame is not as pronounced if it is a windy day. Otherwise, this thing is great and super practical. So it's gonna score a 17 out of 20. Quite awesome to have with you if you are the outdoors adventurous type. Okay, so moving into our last category now, value for money. So overall, this product has scored pretty high in every category, but I must say this is the one category where it may fall a little bit short because it is a rather premium price point to own this unit. And don't forget the cost of a propane tank too to keep this thing going, keep this thing running. But if you have the money to spend, it's certainly an awesome piece to own especially with that cooking attachment. It's gonna save you a lot of bringing other gear and also be a lot of fun. It's gonna score a 13 out of 20 on value for money. However, the good news is that they do make more cost-effective, lower tier versions of this same fire pit. They have the Tailgater X model, which is the same body and everything, but it has no internal speaker or dancing, anything like that. It's just the fire pit itself, and that sits around a third of the price. And then they also make the tailgater, which does not have the subwoofer in it. And also that model does not have the dancing uh, to music effect, but that model is about half the price. If you do want it to do everything, the model you want is the one we've reviewed. You can check the current deals and pricing in the description below. I always link to the product in my description. Check that out. It helps to support the channel. Bringing the Yukia 2.1 fire pit, Bluetooth speaker, dancing fire pit to a final score of 83 out of 100. That gets the thumbs up from me. Quite, quite an awesome little thing to own. And if you are in the market to add a little fire fun, a product for imagination that I would recommend is the indoor fire pit. This is a completely different product that I've done a video on that lets you have campfires inside. I know it sounds crazy. I've done a full video on this. You can use it outside, inside. Check out that video. This is the Future Space Collective where we explore the world of products for imagination. And I'll see you guys in the next video.